good morning this is orina spice today i'm gonna show you how i make some nice delicious salt fish with um tomato and seasoning very nicely done so i've seen a little bit i'm in such a beautiful day so i'm out here enjoying the sun and the heat <laughs> so this is the salt fish i'll be making this is um alaskan pollock and you know it's a salt fish which they made so I'm gonna make this today with some tomato. So they also have another kind that they call um, bacala, which is cod. But today this is like um, an Alaskan pollock, which is the same, um, not the same fish, but it's a different one, but it's a salt fish. So I've been making this today. So here is the fish. So I uh, put it to soak. Now the best way to do it first you wash the salt out you know there's so much salt in these fish so what you're going to do you just put it in the same pan you rinse it out wash out the salt then you put the fish in and you put the water above the fish so this is about three cups of water you know you always do your above the fish and let it soak so i'll be soaking this here like for three hours and after that then i'll be ready for cook but you know sometimes the best time to do it is like overnight in this way you could re get it ready to cook but I have to soak this now because uh, I didn't soak it overnight so I've seen a little bit so here so here is the salt fish the salt fish here I'll soak it at least for I soak it for four hours just one hour the salt out well with the other salt fish the bacala the cod fish you could you have to boil that after this because this is very light so I am not gonna boil it this is my boil a little or you can blanch it a little but this is good so I'm going to start cut it up or put it into there and start the frying process. So these are some of the seasoning I'll be using. I have some sweet pepper here, some onion, some tomato, some cilantro. I have some tarragon, rosemary, some sweet hot pepper, some garlic, some green onion, and I have some chili. So I'll be using, I'll ch chop, chip all these up and I'm going to fry it up with the salt fish so i'll see in a little bit i'm gonna show you real quick how i'm cutting it up you know you could cut it what size you want but i like to do it a little big because they the um the salt fish when you go into the fry just get it just loose you know it just loose up but i'm gonna try to do it a little not too big but you know like this size so i'm gonna finish all up and let you see So here I put my pan on and I'll be putting in some oil. I will use at least about a quarter cup of oil here. It's about a quarter cup. So I'll let that heat up a little then I'm ready to put it in. So the oil is hot and I'm ready to throw it in. Salt fish. So before I do that I'm going to throw in some garlic force to just um, season up a little. Fry this off, shop a little. I let this fry until it comes down, and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so now I'm gonna I'll turn it up. Okay, it's looking good. You gotta turn on, you gotta fry. You keep it on medium flame, not too high. So it's coming nicely. A, a non stick pan is the best pan to use for this. It will be better if you have a non stick pan. That's okay. So I see in the next step. Just checking. It's coming good. At this time, I'll be adding in some uh, black pepper. So let it um, cook a little, dry a little more, then I'll be adding the seasoning. Looking good. 
So I got everything chip up here, all the seasoning and the tomato. So I'll be ready to throw them in as soon as they have the salt fish fry out, fry down a little. So here are all of these here. So it's coming down now to the oil. I can see it here. Okay, so this time I'll be adding in the seasoning. These are all the seasoning that I chipped up, chopped up, everything is here. I put um, just three of, the, three of the chili and I have one little um, jalapeno. So all these have to fry from a good store and fry. And that, that I'll be adding in the tomato in a little bit. And well, I'm just checking it coming nicely, but this time I put it on a little low flame. Now I'll be adding in the tomato and they all fry down. This time I'll be putting in the tomato. So I'm going to just make a quick stir on this and let it fry. So I let it see in a little bit. So I'm just checking. Still keep it on medium uh, flame. It's coming up nicely. This is going to soon finish. But um, let it tomato cook a little, then it finish. But you notice as I'm making this, I don't add any salt, you know, because um, the salt fish you know carry a little salt in it so the salt is enough to be in this uh, to be enough to be in the food so it's going to be finishing just a little bit and then I'll, you see how we're done but it, until now it looked really good so here is the tomato with salt fish and all the nice seasoning it's finished now and i'm gonna take it out and let you guys see this is it.